Hello everybody, welcome to science. My name is Mr. Cole. Today's lesson is on comparing and measuring matter. Before we begin today's lesson, let us look at our objectives that we hope to accomplish at the end of this lesson. 1. Define key vocabulary terms, mass, density, volume, and weight. 2. Examine instruments that measures matter. And 3. Compare objects that has more mass, density, and weight. We are going to look at some vocabulary terms that you will find throughout this lesson. Let's read them together. Mass. The amount of matter in an object. Volume. The amount of space that matter takes up. Density. The measure of a certain volume of a substance. And weight. The amount of force of gravity on the object. Which vocabulary word goes well? Try the vocabulary term to match its definition. Let us read all of the definitions together. 1. The measure of a certain volume of a substance. 2. The amount of matter in an object. 3. The amount of space that matter takes up. And 4. The amount of force of gravity on the object. Let's get started. Yes, density. Let us read. The measure of a certain volume of a substance. Yes, mass. The amount of matter in an object. Very good. Volume. The amount of space that matter takes up. Aha. Uh -huh. Weight. The amount of force of gravity on the object. Give your neighbor a high five for me. We are going to dive more in depth on our vocabulary terms. A golf ball and a ping pong ball are the same size but the golf ball has a lot more matter in it. So the golf ball will have more mass. The mass of an object will not change unless we add or subtract matter from it. Here are some instruments that are used for measuring mass. We have a balance and an electronic balance. Let us look at these three abbreviations. Do you know what they stand for? Could someone tell me? Let's look at KG. Kilogram. That is correct. What about G? Gram. That is also correct. Very good. What about MG? Milligram. Very good. Which has more mass? Let us look at A. Our favorite cartoon characters from Fat Albert. You have Dumb Donald and Fat Albert. Which one has more mass? Correct, Fat Albert. Let us look at B. You have an ant and a Bohemian 25 cents. Which one has more mass? Very good. The 25 cent has more mass. Let us look at C. Is that a Nassau grouper? How can we tell that's a Nassau grouper? It has a distinct spot on its tail. Is that a pineapple all the way from Illustra? Yes, it is. Which one has more mass? The grouper. Very good. Density. Density tells us how tightly matter is packed together. If something is packed very tightly together, it is considered to be dense. 
more dense things and pushes up less dense. Do you remember the three states of matter? Solid, liquid and gas? As you can see, gas is less dense. Liquid is less dense than solid. Solid is more dense than liquid and gas. Since we know all about density, let's look at this experiment below. Which one has more density? Do grapes sink or float? The grapes are placed in a jar with water and salt. Which one has more density? Is it A or B? And your answer is correct, A. A is more dense than B. Do you see that B word across there? Who knows that B word? That is a big word. Buoyancy. Very good. Buoyancy is the ability to float in liquid. A beach ball is very buoyant where a marble is not buoyant at all. It's because the ball of air is less dense than the water. So out of the five objects that you see, you will have to circle just three of them for me. Yes, the empty bottle is buoyant in the water. The pumpkin is also buoyant in the water. And the cork is also buoyant in the water. Very good. We already know that volume is the amount of space that matter takes up. Here are some of the instruments that are used to measure volume. A graduate cylinder, syringe, burette, pipette, and a volumetric glass. We also have measuring spoon and measuring cups. This is an experiment that was conducted by Kiasi on a variety of volumes. Kiasi has a feather, a rock, a banana, and a bowling ball. She wants to find out if they have different volumes. She puts the same amount of water into five containers. She drops one object into each of the containers, leaving one control container with just water in it so she can see the original water line. Then she compares each full container to the control one. The difference between the original water line and the new water line is the volume of the object. Look at the pictures of Cassie's containers below to help you answer the questions. Question number one. Which object has the most volume? The bowling ball. That is correct. Question number two. Which object has the least amount of volume? That is correct. The feather. Question three. Put the objects from least volume to most volume in order. The feather, the banana, the rock, and the bowling ball. Very good. Give your neighbor a high five for me. Wait. The more matter the object has, the more weight gravity pulls on it. Below, you will find some instruments that are used to measure weight. You have an extension spring balance a compression spring balance, and then you have a weighing scale. Where are my math lovers? Let us look at the metric unit system of mass. The glue stick, number one. Is it five gram or five kilogram? Very good, five gram. What about a cow? Is it 600 gram? or 350 kilogram. Aha, uh -huh. very good. 350 kilogram. 
And number three, a rabbit. Is it 20 gram or two kilogram? Very good, two kilogram. Let us look at our only problem solving. Let us read together. Jose bought 1,250 gram of chicken breast and 750 gram of brown chicken from the supermarket. How much total chicken did Jose buy? Very good, two kilogram. Now, how did you got two kilogram? Okay, you saw the clue bird. How much total chicken did Jose buy? So he added 1250 plus 750, which gave him 2000 grams. Very good. And we know that 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram and 2,000 gram is equal to 2 kilograms. Excellent! Science Weekly Experiment This week, we are going to experiment on making a balance. The instructions are provided for you and also a picture to let you know how your balance should look. Have fun guys! It's time to wrap up. Matter has both mass and volume. Mass is a measure of how much matter is present and is measured in kilograms, grams, pounds or tons. Weight is a measure of how strong the force of gravity is and is measured in newtons. Volume measures the amount of space that a substance or an object takes up. Density is defined as mass per unit volume. It is a measure of how tightly packed and how heavy the molecules are in an object. See you next time everybody.